A crime alert we've been telling you about in the Metro East. The death of a man in Collinsville brings out new crime stats for that town. We've learned that homicide in Collinsville reporting a 400% spike in crimes this year over year last year. Forest Alert Force Cameron Bopp is following that crime alert tonight for us. Cameron. Yeah, Sam Collinsville has a population of around 25,000 people. So when the number of homicides jumps up by one, it raises concerns for both police and people who live there. It was devastating, just devastating. Sandra Callahan lives on Loop Street. Houses down from where a Collinsville man was found in a ditch Wednesday morning. Didn't have any idea what was going on. And then I was told that one of our youth had gotten stabbed. Tyrese Owens was found just before 11 a.m. The major case squad says he had a serious laceration to his torso. As the task force of police detectives searches for the victim's killer, a first alert for has found data showing a big jump in similar crimes in Collinsville. Take a look. Collinsville police have investigated five homicides so far this year alone. Compare that to the one homicide in 2020, one in 2021 and one in 22 and a zero in 2019. The spike in violent crimes this year painting a different picture from the city neighbors know and love. Nice and quiet. There's nothing going on. The kids are in school. It's peaceful. Yesterday was um, detectives and policemen down at the corner. Collinsville Police Chief Steve Evans acknowledges the spike is upsetting to his community, but he gave us context in this statement saying it disturbs us because we value the sanctity of human life and we are trusted to protect lives. However, each of the cases were isolated, unrelated, and did not involve random victims. Despite the lack of any threat to public safety, Callahan it's, says, I want us to grab our kids and hug them and tell them that there's a different way of life than what's going on now. And again, police say there is no threat to the public as they continue to search for a suspect in yesterday's stabbing. Chief Evans declined an on-camera interview today, but told me over the phone he's going to be in touch with police and city officials to determine how to best communicate to the public this spike in homicides. Of course, if you have any information on yesterday's stabbing, you're asked to call the major case squad. Cameron Bob, First Alert 4. Cameron, thank you.